Hi Leo, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your March love reading for 2018 for Leo Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate with you. If they don't, just check the description box below and you could always get a personal reading from me. Okay, there's also um, lots of different options that you can contact me through Instant Go or request a reading from my website. My website's currently down at the moment as it's being uh, redone, but you can still book there. Okay, so I'm doing a different spread this month. Uh, I just didn't feel the Celtic, Celtic cross spread fully, so I thought I would do... Um, I actually don't know the name of the spread, but it's just missing those four pieces. Um, but I'm going to use the Romance Angels deck, and I'm going to clarify with my mini rider weight, okay? So, Leo, your past position, you have the separation card here, okay? Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So some of you may have actually separated from someone, whoever they may be. Okay, whether you were dating, in a relationship, a marriage, what have you. Um, some of you may have moved out, or you have a partner who you separated and, and they left. Okay. Um, some of you could, it could be a situation where. Um, you have someone, I feel like maybe in the military, um, who had to go, uh, to another country or, uh, something to do with working, a military job, government position, um, that caused the two of you to have to be apart, okay, in the past recent, long distance past. I feel there's a long distance situation that occurred in the past with someone. Some of you could have been dealing with a cancer. Some of you could be on the cusp of Cancer Leo and you had to leave for a work trip that caused separation. <coughs> separation to me is always temporary. Um, You know, it's like two things, but separate from each other. You know, depar departure is moving away. Um, so I'm not feeling strongly that there's a full break, um, but there is separation. Okay, so your present situation, you have the free yourself card. It's time to take back control of your life. So however that resonates for you, if, if you do have someone that had to leave or you had to leave now it, you're in this position where you know you are staying um, in, in your power and control of what you're doing what's going on in your life um, you know if someone had to leave and there's children at home you have to now pick up where your partner has left off because you have to take care of the home, um, even if this is a separation in a marriage, um, that someone moved out due to there may have been trouble in a relationship or marriage, or someone may, may have just been working all the time and never spending time with you. I mean, I mean, if that's your reason for getting a divorce then uh, just that's harsh but I don't know the full details of your situation I mean you know someone's literally like married to their work and they're not you know being a part of your life then yeah that's different so um, but here you are with the free yourself card and here you are not accepting any love offers from anyone so if you're single again um, you're, you know, I feel like the, the offers that you, maybe you've been getting have been just like one right after the other, but nothing, nothing that really holds any interest 
to you because these cups are empty it's I almost feel like I almost feel like people are coming to you it looks like they're making love offers but their cups are empty they actually want you to fill them and you're like no I am not taking care of thousand more people every single person I meet taking advantage of me always asking for more asking for more asking for more and you're just arms are crossed and you're just not even looking you, you just don't have it left within you to fill someone else's cup you know or for some of you have a decision that you need to be ma to make um you know if you've separated from someone and you're not getting back together then um, you may have other offers you may have other decisions you need to make about um, you know choosing someone or choosing the best offer that comes in but you're thinking about it you know you're taking a step back I mean you've you've been through the ringer with a, a situation and um, this is the card of you know person who's in the corner now they're they're they've been beaten up and now they're in their corner and they're going to think of their next plan of attack or how they're going to move forward now you know so you're freeing yourself from feeling like a doormat in a relationship or in relationships in general which leos don't usually do that it's a sad sad day when you see a leo down on their luck because they usually are very very positive and hopeful so uh, I don't see you being down on your luck though because this is the nine of wands is a card of someone who yeah um, you may have you you will say to people well you may have won the battle but you have not won the war and that's really your energy and you'll free yourself from any energy that tries to um, it's it's not I don't feel like you've been you were dealing with something that was very abusive I don't feel like that I mean some of you may have been but I just kind of get a sense where you're not taking empty cups anymore you know you if you, your thing is if you're going to bring me a plate it better have some chicken and green beans and you know some potatoes it better be a plate that's full I don't give me a plate that's empty and ask me to serve it fill it up and serve it back to you because you just kind of feel like you've done that oh, so much because you are that person I mean you, you are very giving and you like to take care of people but now you want to be taken care of okay so what's driving you is you have a decision to make here clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and that's also this energy here where you're you are I can't pick it up having to like maybe choose from several different options or you're thinking to yourself my gosh every cup I keep getting they're all empty you know and they just keep coming you know you're you're probably in this process of asking yourself hey what do I need what do I want now out of a relationship or out of this if you're currently still involved with someone um, but you're recently separated but not going to break up asking yourself what do you need from this now okay sorry for this gl um, blur I don't know why it did it again um, I know it's so annoying I don't care I'm not gonna fix it I'll hold the card up so you're making a decision okay some of you may have been dealing with a water sign and I did say cancer um, could be Aries but you are making a decision about whether you, whether or not you want to take a risk or take a chance on something it could be on this person male or female Cancer Scorpio or Pisces uh, whether to stay involved with that person or if that's one of the offers that you're getting okay I don't feel like this is your energy um, you either have to make a decision between two two offers or <coughs> excuse me or you need to 
make a decision about whether to leave someone that you're involved with permanently, which could be another water sign. It doesn't have to be, but just someone who's got more of that feminine healing energy. Um, or you may just decide that you need to take off and, and go find yourself. That's what that free yourself card is all about. Now, what's crowning you, you have the soulmate card. So that's what you're looking for. You're looking for that soulmate. I was going to, I almost caught myself saying the one who completes you, but I hate that phrase because I don't believe people can complete each other. Um, so I feel like you're, you're looking for someone who's, you know, on the same page as you, someone who gets you and someone who doesn't take advantage of you. Someone who puts in the effort to make a relationship work. You may have um, you may have an earth sign that you're thinking about with this Queen of Pentacles. There could be an earth sign coming in for you uh, who's your soulmate, or it could be that person that you're currently with could be an earth sign that you're thinking about. Uh, it doesn't have to be. They could... So it could be someone who give me a second here. It could be someone who has the energies of the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles where you know, they make a lot of money, they work very hard, they're abundant, um, but you're driving to have that connection with them and you, you haven't had that connection with them in the past. Something, that emotional connection separated the two of you or a physical connection or whichever it may be as I described before. But this is the type of person you're seeking, I know that. And this person, as I said, is abundant, and they 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 have something to offer. You know, it's it's not that they just ignore you and work all the time. They actually give results. They have something to offer you, and they're willing to learn. You know, they're open to learning how to be in a relationship. You know, so if that's someone new coming in for you. There could be, but I also feel like there could be several different people if you're single um, where offers are coming in, an earth sign and a water sign that you may need. You may think to yourself, well, the earth sign logically sounds like a good matchup, you know, um, but the water sign really makes you feel like you could do things you've never done before. Anyway, you've got a honeymoon card coming up here. So if this is your partner, you will see your partner again. Um, you may, you know, if they left, if they were in the military or any kind of job or something where they had to leave for work, you guys will have um, holiday, holiday time together again. Okay, if you're single, you're going on some type of a vacation. <laughs> Probably with that earth sign. Or you're going to meet an earth sign on a vacation, okay? Or you are currently involved with an earth sign and you're gonna reconcile and have a vacation together in the future. There'll be a lot of passionate energy occurring and new potential for that, a new beginning in that. Could be a birth, a lot of sex, a lot of that energy pulling through. Okay, this person, this King of Pentacles person definitely has that going on, very, very sensual. Earth signs are very sensual. Um, yeah, so I kind of feel like, uh, you know, you're Leo, freeing yourself. Look, <laughs> I was just reading um, an article about Leo today. It's very interesting. And, and people always say Leo is the king of the jungle. And I, I, I want to smack people when they say that because, I don't, not literally, like figuratively, obviously. Leo's not the king of the jungle. Leo is the king of beasts. 
Lions do not live in the jungle. Now, if, if they do and I'm wrong, you can leave me a comment and tell me, but I was under the impression they lived in the Serengeti, you know. But even in the Serengeti, they're not caged up, right? You know, lions, they're free. They roam unless they're in a zoo. Lions don't like to be in the zoo. And if you're feeling like you're trapped in a cage, you know, your it's not your natural habitat and you always want to free yourself you're a fighter you'll never go down and if you're getting like crappy lame offers you know when a lion's out in the jungle uh, when a lion's out in the you know out in south africa they're not chasing rodents did you ever see a lion chase a rodent to feed his whole family no lions go after those big animals they'll take down elephants so you know that's you these these measly offers if you're single that you're getting you're just like no i don't think so you better fill that cup up before you hand it to me <laughs> and asking me to fill it up for you forget that so i just kind of feel like that's your energy even if, even with someone that you are currently with even if they you separated with them and there's a chance to come back with them, I feel like it's kind of similar to the cancer reading where, you know, you're just, you know, I need what's right for me. I need my abundance. I need what's good for me. And I feel like, you know, somebody's going to come along. Either your partner is going to return and give that to you or um, there's going to be a lot of new, creative, fiery, passionate energy between you. Um, or this is someone new coming in. You just have to make a decision who you want to be with that's all do you want that person to come back or are you ready for someone new okay leo so um that's all i have to say i hope you like your reading and i will see you guys in april okay thanks bye